today is toilet talk. We are talking toilets. Uh, we just had a nice discussion. Are we gonna build a separate bathroom for the toilet or are we gonna store it under the bed? And I think uh, the consensus is let's build a nice little uh, bathroom. Uh, let's hide the toilet inside of it, give everybody their privacy. Chris did a uh, quick pickup of some fence boards. He is uh, saving these to possibly uh, upcycle or use them on his next project. So just gotta unload. And we're gonna go grab one of the saws at the tiny house so we can use it today here on the bus. All right, back at the tiny home, we're gonna grab a saw, hit the road, and then uh, I think we're gonna grab some more uh, wood fencing. All right, we're gonna grab these uh, fence boards, throw them in a the truck, and then hit the road. Just made it back. I am hot and tired, I'm sweaty, and uh, I'm ready to eat a burrito. I am now faced with an important life decision. This is a burrito. It's cold. I'm not a fan of the microwave. And I'm hungry. I think I need a cold burrito. If this was called a wrap, it would be highly appropriate to eat a cold wrap. Is it because my chicken is grilled? Because I have beans? Because it's called a burrito? I think it's completely acceptable to eat a cold burrito. How was your lunch? My wrap and my burrito. I don't know what you have. I had a burrito. Burrito? That's cool. How was it? It's alright. Yeah, that's what was my wrap. My wrap is alright too. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to tell me that I couldn't call it a wrap. But like, what is the difference, America and the world, I guess? Is it a burrito or is it a wrap? It's a piece of cardboard and I'm gonna trace it up to the wall. Close, but no cigar. Well, you're, you know, cutting cardboard and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. So we're tracing out the wood, then we're gonna cut it. Right, here's the update. We have uh, walls, floor to ceiling in the middle. That's where I will be praying to the porcelain god. And hopefully, not too much. Hopefully I'll be dropping deuces right there. Wait, wait. Wait, wait for what? For the record, for somebody who doesn't know a whole lot about construction, he did a pretty good job. <laughs> Look at that guy. That was all him. I had nothing to do with it. So, props to you, Jack Ross. Thanks. That's the truth. We, uh, he first did the first. first. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Texas is rubbing up on him. So this one here, uh, we did together. Chris was working on some other wood. I did this one by myself. I think I did a fantastic, wrong one, this one. Did a fantastic job on it. I'm really proud of myself. Now we're gonna nail it in and this is where the toilet will be hiding and we're gonna have a door that comes out for privacy. I'm out of here. All right guys, Chris is out of here. Bye Chris, good work. Uh, all right, so this is the uh, update so far, the progress. Uh, we drilled everything in, everything is secure. I have a two by four there, some two by fours on the side. This beautiful birch on the side, which may or may not get some kind of stain or finish or whatever. It might be covered with something, who knows. Um, we're calling it a day. It's about eight o'clock, probably after eight o'clock. We've been uh, working all day. The uh, board is still in the back of the wood or truck, I'm getting tired.